What's up guys, more medic one here. Hey, just want to show you this little lit trimmer. It's a echo and uh, just look at this air filter. I have seen a lot of clogged filters and I've seen them worse than this, but whenever they let them clog up and they don't install them correctly. See how they got the filter pinched right here? This pinch right here is just like not having a filter at all, accompanied with a broken air filter cover and a broken spark plug. This tells me that this trimmer either fell out of the back of the truck or fell off the trimmer rack going down the road or something happened to where this trimmer was dropped and it just kept being ran and ran and ran and finally it sucked something up into the intake and uh, check this out now something got down in here and got on top of the piston as we can tell look at that piston crown right there it's got a piece of the piston actually miss, missing and that chunk also is pre prevalent here now I did go in here and kind of scrape around with my screwdriver that's why you're seeing that big scrape right there but anyway this engine is toast it's going to need a short block, but in my opinion, this trimmer is probably getting close to 15 years old. I would just buy a new one. Guys, you got to take care of your stuff. The wrist pin bearing seems okay. The big end bearing seems okay. And the, you know, the main crank bearings seem to be all right so i mean if you were a cost conscious consumer you could possibly put a new piston look at that gouge right there that's right there where that piston was broke so whatever it ingested got sucked right down this exhaust side of the piston also it scored that piston up that away. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe even the rod was a little bit tweaked. Whatever got down on top of that piston really wreaked some havoc on this poor little two cycle engine. The reason I tore it down is because I wanted to figure out why it felt like with the spark plug out and when you pull the rope it felt like it had you know resistance or compression what it was it was actually a piece of crap stuck in between the piston and the cylinder top of the cylinder and as we can tell that bottom ring is free but this top ring is stuck right where that piece of debris probably crunched the top of this piston and now has the ring squeezed like a vice no bueno now if you ever start working on a echo and you're wondering why the model number of the trimmer is sb 1060 well that stands for short block the part number 1060 and there's the serial number for the short block so this engine or this trimmer has already been short blocked once before. Everybody at this facility is going to get a butt reaming, probably from the facility manager, because I'm going to have to take pictures. I have to document all this crap for for our records, and then they get turned into the uh, what you might call it guy that's over that particular part of the works. But anyway, hey, I just wanted to get on here, jump on here real fast. And guys, I've got videos on how to short block 
and how to repair these two cycle engines i'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can watch all of my two cycle videos uh, but anyway hey if this content or you like this kind of content i, I like doing tear downs and, and show and tells but give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there doing that click that heart and that bell so that you get all of my new videos y'all have a good day more medic one